chapter Sat Me Chemistry Demonstration. For today, I want to take you through a very important apparatus that we use in our last source of heat, as a source of heat in a chemistry laboratory, and it is called a Bunsen burner. Remember, Bunsen is the name of a person who discovered this apparatus. It is the best that we use for heating. So what exactly do I want to teach you today? Parts of a Bunsen burner. This is a Form 1 concept, and I know you'll enjoy it. So this is a, a Bunsen burner. A Bunsen burner consists of a base, and this is the what offers the support for the burner. So this is the base. Then I have this tube. This tube is called the chimney, or maybe you can call it the barrel, but basically we call it the chimney. The chimney is where the laboratory gas and the air will mix, then ignite from the top. So this is the chimney. Then I have this ring. There's a ring here. This one is called the collar. This is the collar. This ring is here. The use of the collar is to regulate the amount of air that is entering through the air hole into the chimney. So if I can have the collar up to that end, the air hole is closed. So no air will be entering in. So that is when the air hole is closed, is in the chimney. Or I can open the air hole. You see the air hole is now open. So the function of the, uh, the collar is to regulate the amount of air entering the chimney by opening and closing the air hole. That is the main three parts. Then we have a very small opening here. You can see a very small opening here. It's called the jet. The jet allows the laboratory gas to get into the chimney. So it's that small opening and my acuity is that small just to make sure the amount of gas getting into the chimney is regulated in very literal amount there. So that is the, the jet. Of course then I have the rubber tubing or the hose pipe. The hose pipe will connect the Bunsen burner with the source of the gas. The source of the gas. Do not forget the air hole I've shown you. The air hole now allows the air from outside to get into the chimney. Remember for the gas to burn, it must have oxygen from outside. That's why we have the air hole. And this, this is the Bunsen burner, the best for heating in a chemistry laboratory. A form one concept that is. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like my channel, make or write down some comments just in case there is something I think uh, or I should do different. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Sam Ming.